Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Once again, it is time for my client Jordan's blog. And Jordan is now running Conjugate using chains, using specialty bars, all that good stuff. Again, I like this for athletes. Uh, people know that. I'm a big fan of Conjugate using bands and chains for athletes of any type. All right, max effort bench. We did a medium grip bench. I believe you did 38 pounds of chains. 38 right there, but I think it might be 34. If I recall what chains that I know that he bought, but it was 175 pounds of bar weight plus the chains. All right, we followed that up with sets of pause benching. All right, sets of pause benching. Again, we're keeping this stuff simple. We keep it simple for now. Uh, so he does pause bench, he does pull ups, and we do band press downs. Now, that might seem like a little bit low volume, but we're taking his volume up over time and keeping in mind Jordan plays sports. He does a lot of conditioning work. Uh, we do have to bring his volume and workload up over time, and we will do that, right? We will do that. Uh, we'll eventually add other stuff in, even on these upper body days, but we can't go too overboard just yet. I want to get him into the flow, get him used to the system, now getting him used to using the chains and stuff for speed work, which we do this week. Uh, actually, we did it last week too. So we need to bring these things up over time and also keeping in mind sports practice, uh, almost daily conditioning work, all this stuff, right? So he, he is an actual competitive athlete. And the, the strength training is a supplement to that for him. So he's not power lifting. So we may not always put in the same amount of intense workload uh, that say my power lifters do into the strength side. Although the programming itself is very similar. All right, we did a ME squat this week with the safety bar. Did it this week with the safety bar. He got 261 uh, doing a max squat with that. You know, and that's the other thing I, I've, we've laughed and he pointed out to me. There's a bunch of people hating on, on my squat technique, the way my knee valgus and everything happens. And it's like, well, who cares? They aren't strength coaches. All right, these are, these are a bunch of losers who don't understand the squat. Have probably never squatted a heavy weight in their life. Have clearly not watched world-level squatters. All right, they clearly have never watched them. And their opinions don't matter. You know, that's the problem with everyone on the internet. They think that their opinions matter because they've done a little working out. They watched a couple workout videos, you know. They watched v a few times. They think that they somehow know anything about building athletes or how to squat, how to deadlift any of these things. And they clearly don't. All right? They clearly don't. Ignore those people. They're clowns. They're fools. And don't argue with them. Never argue with a fool. This is a lesson I was told by a wise, much wiser man than me many, many years ago when I was a young man that I wish I had paid more attention to. He told me when you argue with a fool, it's difficult for those watching to tell which of you is the fool. So, what does he do after this? We do Bulgarian split squats with the safety bar. And we do Bulgarian split squats with the safety bar. And he does good mornings. Now, for people curious as to why he's got that box, we use it for plyometrics. Notice that's a soft box for jumping. He's using it for those because we have it. Uh, but yeah, he does jumps. So it's there for plyometric work. It's like he's got a sled to drag. And he does all those things. Because right? again, he's an athlete. We're not worried about all that on camera, right? We're here to just show the strength training, the programming. Just like, you know, Michelle doesn't, we don't put all her conditioning up. She drags a sled six days a week. Drags a sled six days a week. I don't know, maybe some of that might be worth videoing. People might want to see that. But, uh, again, he does here. We do split squats. We do good mornings. I'm not sure how that file got switched in the rotation. I just plug them into here in, in the order they, they're uploaded to me and I rip them in. <laughs> but sometimes these files get out of order. We've seen that with some of them with the, the other lifters. It just happens. 
we'll get over to his speed bench day in a minute. Speed benching. Uh, we speed bench with chains. His speed bench day looks pretty similar. He didn't get footage, and that's one of the things we're gonna we're working with. His time is getting limited. It's hard for him to get footage always of everything. So hopefully we just get enough. All right, for speed bench day we do our speed benching. Then he does flat dumbbell presses, pull ups, band press downs. Okay. Uh, very common setup. You guys will notice a lot of my wider grip benchers. We do we do a lot of dumbbell work. Oftentimes, not always, not always. It's different points of the rotation. All right, dynamic effort lower. We did speed squats with chains, box squats, of course. All right, again, compensatory acceleration. Notice the speed. That's what we want to see. Bands or chains on box squats for an athlete for speed. Can't beat it. Cannot beat it. This is what we want to see. Again, the rate of force production here all about rate of force production which is what we're seeing he's going on to a deep box right below parallel wide stance drives it explosively against those chains same thing speed pulls conventional speed pulls against bands this, this week we use sumo for some of this too uh, but this is what he's doing at the moment all right what do we do after that we follow it up with good morning so he, he ran out of time on speed squat day and so it's kind of like we have to we have to deal with sometimes for him when time gets in the way it's like where are our bread and butter lifts and I'm like if nothing else and I would say this to any of you if on a speed day you're ever limited for time on lower if you did nothing but speed boxes speed pulls and good mornings wouldn't be bad you wouldn't be in a bad place doing that I would venture to say for the majority of you out there that would actually be a productive day. That would be a relatively productive day. Just your speed work to keep the volumes are correct, followed by, you know, something like five sets of good mornings. I don't think you'd go wrong there. I mean, I'm not saying that's what you should do if you squat 500 plus pounds already, but if you squat 400, and you're a man. I don't think it's a bad way to go. I don't think it's a bad way to go at all. So that's what he ended up doing that day. Uh, you know, we, and like I said, we don't always get everything in that we want. Uh, I'm trying to add some more pull throughs, but he didn't get the one arm dumbbell rows basically, and he didn't get the app work. Uh, you know, it's life. It happens. It's fine. I'm okay with that. And I'd like to see those things. But, you know, not the end of the world if we don't get them. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.